Hi, I'm Steve. I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2001 Salem 30 bunkhouse. So this is a uh, just a big giant travel trailer. Um, it's got a big slide out and it's got bunks in the back. So um, this trailer just came in on trade and we're going to sell it as is, meaning we're not going to check any of the systems. We're just going to let the future owner buy it as is and they can check it out on their own but that should be a good opportunity to get a trailer like this for a great low price. Uh, there are some issues with leakage. There's definitely some condition issues with this trailer. So let's walk around it and I'll point them out. All right, sidewall looks good. Doesn't look like it's dented up. Previous owner said the awning looked good. We didn't have it out though. Um, stairs look good. The tires on this side look good. Uh, I saw a date on this one, 2014, but on the other side, uh, the tires are dry rotted. So they're not all in good shape. Um, <clears throat> got some big storage under the, this is under the rear bunk. And then um, this back corner looks okay, but you can see where it's been re caulked on the side. So there was basically there's leakage on the roof or signs of previous leakage. So back wall looks good though, it doesn't look all dented up. So the trailer is pretty clean overall, it could probably use a wash and a wax to be shiny, but um, slide room looks good, the slide mechanism all works great. And there's uh, storage here, and basically, you probably can't pick it up on the camera, but the whole top edge of the slide room it's got signs of that they've resealed it and it shows some signs of leakage. This whole wall here, this, this left front corner, has got this uh, tape, like sealing tape. So they were chasing some leaks with this, definitely. But that's all right. You know, right now, it actually inside the trailer does not seem, uh, doesn't smell like mel mildew. Seems like it's actually not leaking here today now. Uh, on the front, it's two 30-pound LP tanks, and then there's an electric tongue jack, and also the RV comes with a battery. All right, let's take a look inside. So again, we haven't checked out the major systems in this coach, but the previous owner said everything works. They were camping in it this past summer, and, uh, you know, if you weren't factoring the condition, the layout on this is just fantastic. You got a sofa, a dinette, and two big bunks bathroom on the back so just a lot of sleeping space in here but this is part of the issue so this this wall here is solid and the header is sagging a little but not so much that the slide doesn't work or anything like that and then they put these moldings in which just kind of decorative to cover it up I repainted the ceiling so that's how it is um, so you can you know, if you purchase this, you can uh, repair this stuff yourself if you want. It's all wood frame, so it's all repairable. Or uh, basically, this trailer functions as is like this, so you can just leave it. Uh, on the back, there is two big bunks in the back, a single on the top, a double on the bottom. And uh, the sidewalls, as far as I can tell, look solid, but the roof is a little soft in the back corner. And in the bathroom, the roof is definitely soft in this corner here but like I said it does not smell like mildew currently so I think it has been sealed up for quite a while anyway the, the shower is pretty big I'm 5'11 I got room to stand and let's take a look actually real quick let's just look in the fridge so it looks nice and clean microwave looks clean range top three burner range with an oven nice kitchen and uh, in the ceiling here, this is where the subwoofer is. Again, we haven't tested this, but uh, it does show some leakage, past leakage on there. Uh, then in the bedroom, got a nice walk around queen bed. This lifts up, there's big storage under there. And uh, then there's repairs in the ceiling up here. It's soft and it looks like it's sagged here in the front. You can see where it's lower, so. So that's that. Anyway, this trailer is for sale at I-94 RV. We're located in north in the northeast corner of Illinois, and you could reach us on the web at i94rv.com, and you can also reach us on the phone at 800-340-9500.
Thanks for watching.